تتجنب السب والشتم واللعن and stay away from insulting and cursing others, reviling others. تتجنب كل ما نهى عنه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. In fact, avoid everything which the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم forbade him. مثل سب الزمن سب الذهب. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he forbade us from insulting the time. سب الريح. Insulting the weather, the wind, rain. المؤمن لا يسب. A believer, a believer does not insult. A believer does not curse. A believer does not revile. نعم. أيضا لا بد قال أن تعف عمن ظلمك. And also from the etiquette of a Muslim is to pardon, forgive, and overlook those people who have oppressed you. وتعطي من حرمك. And the one who doesn't give to you, then you give to him. وتصل من قطعك. And the one who boycotts you, then you extend your hand to him. يعني تعطي من أعطاك لا تعطي من لا يعطيك أصلاً. So giving to the person who gives to you, this is easy. But giving to the person who doesn't give to you. وتعف عمن عف عنك لا عمن ظلمك. And pardoning a person who is good to you is easy. But pardoning a person who is oppressing you and wronging you. وتصل من وصلك لا تصل من قطعك. And communicating with a person who communicates with you, this is easy. But communicating with a person who boycotts you and cuts off from you. وبخاصة الأقارب. And more so when they are your family relations. نعم. تتعلم سيرة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. Also that you should learn and know about the seerah, the life of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. ونعلم الأولاد. And we teach our children the seerah. نعم. وكذلك ننشرها بين الناس. And also we should convey amongst the people the seerah of the Prophet. Teach the people the seerah of the Prophet. تفتخر وتحمد الله سبحانه وتعالى أن جعلك من أتباع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. And a person should feel proud and honored and also thank Allah that he has made him from the followers of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. لكن لا تقتر بنفسك. But don't be deluded and deceived by yourself. ولا تتكبر تترفع على الناس. And don't be haughty and arrogant over the people. تتواضع. Rather be humble and modest. تكون كما كان عليه السلف الصالح رضوان الله عليه. So you should be how the righteous imams of the salaf used to be. تحرص ألا تعمل عمل ولا تقول قول ولا تعتقد شيء إلا وقد كان عليه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. لو كن هذا كان عليه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم والصحابة رضوان الله عليه. That any action that you do, any statement that you make, it should be that which the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم did and his companions. تبتعد عن أن تكون من الفرق الضالة وتدعو الله سبحانه وتعالى. Also a person should not join with the deviated sects and groups and you should ask Allah to save you from them. التشبه بالمشركين. And when it comes to resembling the non-Muslims or the people of shirk, والتشبه بالنساء. And imitating women, wa alikhtira, and also the free mixing of the genders, wa kul ma yaftah alayk habab al fitna. In fact, anything which opens upon you an avenue of fitna. يعني تغلق هذه الأبواب. Meaning all of these doors and avenues avenues should be closed. لين الكلام مع النساء. So, for example, speaking with women in a gentle manner. نعم. وكذلك يعني الاختلاط. and also mixing with the opposite gender. فتغلق هذا الباب مع النساء. so close this door straight away. إلا عند الضرورة في شيء جعل الشارع لك فيه يعني حل. except in something or in a situation in which there is an absolute necessity or the Sharia has allowed you to do this. الابتعاد عن السماع المحرمات. Also, a person should distance himself. A Muslim should distance himself from listening to those things which are forbidden. سماع الغناء. Like listening to songs. 
وكذلك هذه التي تسمى في هذه الأيام بالأناشيد. And also listening to that which is called nowadays anashid. تسمع القرآن. Rather listen to the Quran. والسنة. And listen to the سنة. والمنظومات العلمية. And listen to Islamic poetry. أما هذه التي يعني فيها شيء من الألحان وحتى الكلام التي الذي يكون فيها يعني ليس بكلام جيد أحيانا. And as for listening to these songs or these uh, anashi, then often it, it isn't something which is good. Also from the etiquettes of a Muslim is reciting the Quran often. And looking into the books of hadith. And reading the books of the great imams of the Salaf. And that a Muslim doesn't read, doesn't look into the Torah or the Injil. And also that a person doesn't look into the books of philosophy and rhetoric. Love stories like this. And also that a person doesn't read the books of the innovators. A person doesn't read the books of those people who opposed Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. From the etiquettes of a Muslim is always supplicating to Allah for the companions. And that you should not speak about the companions except with goodness. And that you as a Muslim, you have to love every person of Tawheed. And more specifically, the Prophets and the Messengers may peace be upon them. And loving the angels. Loving the companions, may Allah be pleased with them all. And loving the righteous people. Loving the Imams of Islam. The four great Imams. And the ulama, the scholars, and loving the students of knowledge. And you have to love every single ruling which the Sharia has legislated. And you have to love those places which Allah loves. Al -masajid. Like the Masajid. Mecca and Medina. Loving Mecca and Medina. Jabal Uhud. Loving Mount Uhud. Mahala. As an example. Also you have to love those times, those days and weeks and months which Allah loves. For example, loving the last, last third of the night. Ramadan. Loving Ramadan. Loving the first ten days of the Hijjah. And also you have to hate every Kafir and every Munafir. But this hatred of them doesn't mean that we have to transgress against them. Rather, we call them to Islam. We buy sell with them. We don't use violence against them. We don't insult them. We don't revile them. Our or steal from them. But at the same time, we don't partake in their festivals and celebrations. You should strive and work hard to be a person who is always obedient to Allah. And you know that the reason behind your existence is the worship of Allah. So when, for example, you sleep, then you sleep according to the Sunnah of the Prophet You say the remembrances and the adhkar before going to sleep. And that you don't sleep upon your stomach. And also don't be isolated from the rest of the Muslims. 
Rather, you should mix in and socialize with the people according to the level of necessity. Meaning, a person doesn't totally isolate himself from the rest of the Muslims and neither does he always and totally mix in with them. Rather, we have to unite and congregate <coughs> upon everything which the Prophet and the companions united upon. <coughs> so we have to be united upon that which the Prophet was united upon and not be disunited or in discord. So we unite and congregate in the worship of Allah in the prayer. Even when it comes to eating, we congregate and we eat together so Allah places blessings in that food. And also that a Muslim should avoid wearing the, those clothing or those garments which are haram. Men wearing gold and silk. And dragging our garments below our ankles because the Prophet said whatever is below the ankles is in the fire. Or those types of clothing or garments which are specific to the non-Muslims. Or any clothing which uncovers our private parts. Now. أو التي تكون شعار للكفار and any type يعني عرفوا بهذه الألبسة أنها لهم ليست للمسلمين any type of clothing or garment which is like a symbol for the non-Muslims or something which they are known by and the Muslims don't wear لا تتكلم في السياسة إطلاقا and that a person doesn't speak about politics لأن من السياسة ترك السياسة because from politics is a person leaving it فالسياسة المحنك العاقل هو الذي لا يتكلم في السياسة. Or from diplomacy is a person leaving speaking about politics. So the intelligent person is a person who avoids speaking about politics. تدعو الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يغنيك عن الحكام عن غير الحكام. So if you keep supplicating to Allah, then Allah will free you from the rulers and other than the rulers. ولا كن أن تطلب من المخلوق شيء. أطلب من الخالق سبحانه وتعالى. So why? Request and seek things from the creation. Why don't you seek from the creation? Do not speak about those things which do not concern you. So speaking about politics and how prices have become very expensive and anything that you have no involvement with. So what, what does it matter to you? You remain upon Tawheed. You worship Allah upon Tawheed. You worship Allah. And never combine between doing a sin and then showing other people that you're doing this sin. If you fall into a sin, and every human being falls into sins, then what should you do? Seek forgiveness from Allah, repent to Allah, and have a strong determination that you're never going to go back to that sin. And you have to be truthful in this. And you fulfill and repay the rights if you have taken the right from a person. That you have to respect and honor the elderly and also the young person and that you deal or interact with the non-Muslims like the Prophet used to do so. لي ولكم التوفيق والسداد والله أعلم صلى الله على نبينا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم